I, I came on in the fall of 84. The village of Glenview was just wired for cable television. Cable TV is fast becoming one of the most innovative and sophisticated means of communication today. As part of the arrangement, they had to give the high schools, each yeah. high school, a TV channel. And so that's what got the program started. I insisted that we have three levels of broadcasting, like an introduction class, and then a beginning TV production class that would be all skill-based, and then an advanced TV class, which you, you joined if you passed beginning TV. Well, my thing was, we need advanced now. We can't wait. So we're going to like waive the first two classes <laughs> and allow people to take advanced television that, that first year, actually the first two years. When I started the program, the focus was on news, like the Glenbrook South Report and Titan Sports. And we would do live events like the Variety Show and Friday Night Live. But there was a group of students that we were really interested in narrative storytelling. And so we started uh, kind of talking amongst each other and you know, really wanted to ha have this be part of the curriculum. And so we went to Mr. Ferguson. And I said, what's up, gang? And they said, most of us in this class want to be filmmakers. We want to do narrative filmmaking. We want to do documentary work. It was, you know, probably it was a surprise at first. Done. Done. It Instantly, the curriculum changed. First TV program was truly amazing. We had to, we had assignments. We had to package sports for the fall sports assembly. We made Titan Sports. We had FNL. I mean, we, we learned how to do a live show in the studio. We had assignments and we had deadlines. We had to edit. It was the most hands-on experience. And looking back, I'm so impressed about what we could, or what we accomplished in high school. I depended a lot on television because for a multiple reasons. One, homecoming, the variety show, you know, all the band concerts, the choral concerts, all the things, the arts programs, the sports programs, you know, uh, football games, things like that, that again, kind of came out of student activities from the regards of appreciating and supporting those programs. Um, but television helped to push that out into the community to say, this is what we do. This is how we do it here in Glenview. I was a student here at GBS from 2003 to 2007, um, and my advanced TV and film teacher was Mr. Mark Ferguson, um, and he was a phenomenal teacher. So not only did I really enjoy being in the TV and film program here, I just enjoyed the culture of the school, the school spirit. I met a lot of my best friends at GBS, and so this was the school that I you know, wanted to be at. To watch the, um, the community um, that's built ar around this creative endeavor is really awesome. It's just, it's, and, it's, and it's consistent in its pursuit of excellence, which is also really cool. There are universities that don't have programs as robust and as professional as what we have here at South, and it's, it's really an, an honor to watch and to support it. GBS TV and kind of how it feels is a place where like anybody in the school can be a member of GBS TV and contribute and be um, just, it can just be a fun place where all these different students can come together and meet each other and work with each other and create projects that they're proud of and laugh and have fun and feel welcome. That's kind of what Mr. Ferguson built, and that's what I felt as a student here at GBS TV, and that's kind of every year what I'm trying my best to preserve, because I do think that GBS TV is a really special place in the school, and um, I want every student to feel like safe and welcome, and like they can be creative and accepted. And so that part of GBS TV, I think, has kind of stayed throughout the years. You really do see how much of a leg up you have by being involved in Glenbrook South Television. And I think that's why students get involved in it, because they know it's a quality program, they know that you're gonna have, be supported with really good technology, and if you look at the, you know, the history of the number of people who've gone on professionally and got into television and broadcasting, 
through the television program, I mean, that list speaks for itself. Today I'm a director and director of photography for my production company, Cash of Films. We shoot a lot of documentary features for ESPN, Netflix, National Geographic, and Disney. I moved out to LA about 20 years ago, started as a production assistant, then assistant editor, editor, and then up to producing and directing for TV shows. Working on such shows as Magnum P.I., Code Black, Graceland and White Collar, but it really all started back with Advanced TV at Glenbrook South. I am currently working in story and editorial in the SpongeBob universe, and I think Glenbrook South Television definitely set me up for success. GBS TV taught me the fundamentals of storytelling, production, creative collaboration, all skills that I use today here at Nickelodeon. Right now, I'm living in Los Angeles, and I'm working as a video editor in digital media. So currently I'm the lead editor for a science content creator. So I get to cut short form and long form content for YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, Snapchat, and get to have my work seen by millions of different viewers across all those different platforms. And I find that very rewarding. All of these years later, about 25 years later, I do still look back on Glenbrook South and the TV program as some of my fondest memories. I truly feel incredibly lucky that I went to Glenbrook South High School and found my way into the TV department. Obviously, it shaped and changed my life you know, forever. Being guided by kind of that heart of GBS TV, the industry, and most importantly, the students, that will kind of lead us to where we go. And I think that's what makes it always really interesting and exciting to have this job. Um, because I'm always meeting new students and new people and every year those students are changing my perspective and I'm learning from them. Always be curious, always keep the doors open, make sure the lights are always green, go through them. Uh, don't get stuck. If you do, they're unstuck right away.